Gandalf all done, Dan Gorgon, real bad man. And no, the slow travel journey continues on the Thinking Man channel. Man, they warned me. They warned me about the women here. You know, I'm going to warn you. What's up, fellas? Now, listen, man. There is a country that has every type of woman that is a proven ground. A proven ground for the rest of the world. That at the end of the day, I would suggest that anybody... Anybody who's going to consider really traveling outside the country and dating, whether I agree with it or not, that this is where they should start. And we're going to speak on that today. But before we do, ladies and germs, Rich's Method, back at it again. Go ahead and subscribe. It's absolutely free. Hit the like. Drop a comment below. Share the videos. Check the comments in the description below. I have links to ebooks on the dating cheat sheet, financial cheat sheet, the how to get remote work cheat sheet, and a link to the camera that I use all pinned in the comments below. Go check it out. So, let's go. Every dog must get a bone. No, the Dominican Republic is a stone's throw away by flight from Miami, right? You got about two hours of flight from Miami to get or for Lauderdale to get pretty much anywhere in the Dominican Republic. And then on top of that, if you're coming from the United States, there's a history here of deep ties, ties in tourism, but also in the past, the military used to be here. So in Samana to be specific, right? So there's a history there between the United States and the Dominican Republic. You also have the game of baseball, right? One of uh, America's national sports. There's a lot of great exports of players to the United States that they also play basketball. So there is a shared history there, as well as cooperation, as well as proximity. Now, if you're coming from Canada and you're coming from England, you'll also see some common cultural similarities between, you know, what you're used to and some of the culture here. So for the fellas who are saying, you know what, I'm gonna go abroad, I'm gonna date, I'm suggesting to you that this might be one of the gauntlets that you might want to run that will prepare you for the dating scenes in the rest of the world. You have three socioeconomic situations going on, right? Um, much like most of the world, except some countries that are extremely poor only have two socioeconomic classes. Here you have, you know, your regular poor and working class people. You have a small but growing middle class. And then you have, of course, the elites and people who possess a good higher standard of living. Along with that comes what always comes in every country. You have a, how should I put this without uh, upsetting people, but you have different extremes of behavior based on education, how people might act, which we call social class, right? Or social status and behavior that goes along with that. You can find all types of tones here. You have the whitest white because of the Spanish influence, and you have all the way to the darkest dark because of the slavery uh, you know, influence. But then you can throw in there a mix, and uh, I would say a larger percentage of Dominicans are more mixed than they would want to say. Eh, maybe some will agree. And then, of course, you have, you got to join that into that mix, the fact that there are a lot of um, Haitian uh, migrants and immigrants who come to the country. So, with those things, you have a melting pot and you want a date here that you can find pretty much whatever you need. And like any country, you have anything from small and skinny women here to, you know, uh, let's just say uh, hefty or well-fed right <laughs> you guys can put it in the comments below the bottom line is you will probably find any type of body type that you are seeking in this country like most places in the world also but of course um, percentage wise countries tend to vary in sizes right you might have a little bit more smaller sizes in some country and then in some other western countries the majority of the people might be on the bigger side along with the curviness of most of the naturally mixed uh, populations 
you have to put into consideration attitudes and culture. So, um, depends on the socioeconomic status or the class status of the person, and this culture in general is known to be very spicy, right? Mainly I will say that also because it's a very tropical island, right? Uh, people tend to dress similar to the culture of a hot country. So it's mostly revealing, but also very flashy. And you also have an attitude that goes along with it now. But in general also, this culture here in the Dominican Republic is a very loud culture in general. You have a lot of traffic, you have a lot of loud motorbikes, you have loud music playing, lots of drinking, playing at dominoes. So in general, the culture also leads it to be very boisterous. Um, I've heard guys say that the reason that they personally like the Dominican Republic women is because they think that um, some of the women are softer. Now, I will have to disagree with that. I personally have seen that there are attitudes here. You guys get the idea. So if you think you're going to get maybe a Filipina woman or a Indian type woman or a woman from uh, some one of the Arab places that are just going to sit meek and mild, I will tend to disagree. Fellas, the Latin culture is very rambunctious it is very um music oriented family oriented those type of things and because of that it can give you a good cross section now i'm not saying that you cannot find a very quiet woman here i'm sure there exists there's no absolute of anything what we're talking about in general and because of that i believe that this is one of the places that the one because of proximity similarities in culture um similarities in attitudes uh however with some differences because they're more family oriented you might find women here who might more be um, domesticated and when it comes to domestic work uh, as well as going out and actually holding a job but you show in the economic and social issues as well as the fact that um, the women here outnumber eligible men there is a advantage to men who would like to date Dominican women, right? Especially if you're coming from a status where your monetary wealth uh, using the translation of currencies might be able to give you a economic advantage or the ability to take care of a household or a family or while you're dating a woman be able to wine dine and you know just be able to do social activities a little bit more than the uh, income of some of the local men now of course there's no absolute there there are men here with it who have lots of money right um so i'm not only basing it on one factor i'm combining all of these factors so because of that reason i believe there is a, a proven ground here that will prepare you for the rest of the world including the fact that here you can run into women who uh connie west quoted the term be gold digger i don't know if he coined it but here they call it chapiadoras and you will have the other segment here that you will also find as you expand your travels where legally there are adult activities that are kind of look the other way um about if you, if you get my drift uh and you can learn while dating in this country to spot all of those different signs and all of those different aspects of dating that you might not be used to where you are from all right you might believe that because a woman cooks cleans for you and calls you all the nicest names sweetest things and rubs your back cuts your toenails your fingernails rub your feet that she's in love with you but in fact, it might just be part of the culture and part of what she does just to gain what she needs in order to be taken care of. So um, you might find yourself going through all different types of situations while dating in the Dominican Republic. And because of that, that's why I believe that this is the place that people will generally warn you not to fall in love. Um, you're probably not going to listen and then you're going to learn. You're going to learn that you can find everything given time. You can find the 304 community. You can find the I just want to be a taken care of sugar babies you can find the i'm a really good girl and i can make a wife you can find the ghetto attitude 
and you can find you know everything else in between so that's one of my major reasons man so uh be warned be heeded and just like me you're probably not going to listen <laughs> you know check it out ah damn shorty from the hood she got ak-47s tattooed everywhere I think I'm making a left here though. <laughs> Cause if I go where she coming from, yo. Asian thing comes right here. 